Okay, so we looked at cloud formation, but now let's take a look at CDK, cloud formation or cloud formation, cloud development kit. It's just like cloud formation, but you use a, a programming language in order to uh, implement your infrastructure as a code. I don't use it very often. I don't particularly like it, but um, you know, if, if you are a developer and you don't like writing cloud formation files and you want to have something that's more pragmatic, you might be used to that. Um, this I think should be deleting because we were deleting the last one here and notice how it's grayed out. I can't select it. So don't worry about that. Create a new one we'll say CDK example. We'll hit next. T2 micro, EC2 instance, Amazon X2. You know the drill, it's all fine here. We're gonna go ahead and create ourselves a new environment. We're gonna let that spin up there. And as that's going, we're gonna look up uh, AWS CDK. So AWS CDK, um, and we probably want to go to GitHub for this. Okay, because it is open source. And so I want to go to getting started. And I have used this before, but I never can remember how to use it. Probably the easiest way to uh, use this is by using TypeScript. So here's an example, initialize a project, make directory, CDK. Oh, first we got to install it, right? So we'll give that a moment. So this is Node. You know how we did like bundle install? This is like the same thing, but for uh, TypeScript. Install or update the AWS CDK CLI from NPM. We recommend using this version, et cetera, et cetera. So again, we're just waiting for that to launch. But uh, as we wait for that, it's very simple. We're just going to install it, create a directory, um, go into that directory, initialize the example. Here it's setting up an SQS queue, which is um, that's quite a complex example. Um, but you can see it's code, right? And then we run CDK deploy and we'll deploy it. And then hopefully we'll have that resource. So again, we're just waiting for cloud nine. There we go. So Cloud9 is more or less ready. Uh, terminal seems like it's still thinking. And we have a JavaScript one, which I do not care about. There we go. There's our environment. We're going to make sure we have NPM. So we can type in NPM. Great. It says version 8.1.0. And so this is asking for 10. Okay. I don't know if this gives us like NVM installed. NVM? It does. So what we can do is do NVM list. That stands for Node Version Manager. Ruby has one as well. And so it's telling us what version we're on. I want to update, um, it looks like we have a pretty uh, pretty new version, but what I want is the latest version of, oh, but that's Node Version. That's not necessarily NPM. So we'll do Node Version. Oh, 17. Okay, we're well, well in the uh, range of the new stuff. So what I'm going to do is scroll on down. We're going to grab this link here, or this uh, code here, hit Enter. And that's going to install the AWS CDK. So it says uh, file already exists. Oh, so maybe it's already installed on the machine. Um, CDK, we'll just type in CDK. Because of course, AWS just wants to make it very easy for us. This software has not been tested with, what, what was that warning? Uh, with Node 1701, you may encounter runtime issues. Great, AWS, you're like the one that installed this stuff here. So we get a bunch of the commands, which is great. And so what we'll do is follow their simple instructions. We'll say, hello, CDK. We will CD into this. And um, now what we can do is run CDK init and this language here. And so that's going to do a bunch of stuff, creates tons of files. It's gonna vary based on uh, what you're using, uh, like which language, because CDK comes available in a variety of languages. So if you type in AWS CDK um, documentation here, mm, notice up here, uh, Python, Java.net. So I think it has more than just those three languages, but um, you know, I wish it supported more like, yeah, see here is C Sharp, Java, but I, I really wish there was a Ruby. So we'll give this a moment here to get installed and I will see you back here when it is done, okay? Okay, uh, it turns out I only had to wait like a second there, but uh, it says there's a newer version of the CDK. You probably should install it, but I just want to get going here. So as long as I don't run into any issues, I do not care. Um, but anyway, so looking at this, and I, again, I rarely ever look at this, but I'm a developer, so it's not too hard for me to figure out, but under the lib, this is our stack that we're creating. And here is, it is loading in SQS, it's loading in SNS, 
and then the core library, it's creating an SQS queue, and it's setting the visibility of that timeout. It's also creating an SNS topic. So those are two resources that we expect to be created. If we scroll on down to the getting started, it just says CDK deploy. So what we'll do is go ahead and hit enter and let that do whatever it wants to do. And it is thinking, there we go. So here we have IM statement changes. So it's saying this deployment will potentially make potential sensitive changes according to your current security approval options. There is There may be security related changes not in this list. Do you want to deploy? Sure, we'll hit Y. Deploying, creating CloudFormation change set. So CDK is using CloudFormation underneath. It's not complicated. Um, and as that is going, what we'll do is we'll make our way over to our AWS Amazon.com console. And if we go over to CloudFormation, we'll see if we see anything yet. So it's creating a stack here. We can click into it. We can go over to our events, see that things are being created. This is always a confusing. So I always go to resources to see what is individually being created and they're all done. So we go over here and they exist. So here it says that we have a queue called this, right? Sometimes they have links, you can link through it. So notice here I can click on the topic and get to that resource in SNS, which is nice. For SQS, I'm just gonna type in SQS, enter, uh, and there it is, okay? So we don't really understand what those are. We could delete the stack this way. There's probably a CDK way to delete the stack. So uh, CDK destroy. I assume that's what it is. Destroy, okay. So we'll type in CDK destroy. Give it a moment. We're gonna say yes. Okay, it's deleting in progress. We can even go back here and double check. Still thinking. And again, you know, if we deleted these for real, it would take like a second, but uh, you know, sometimes they're just slow. Sometimes it's because a resource can get hung as well, um, but uh, I don't think anything is a problem. So here we can see what the problem is not necessarily a problem, but it's just the SQS is taking a long, t uh, longer time to delete, where the SNS subscription is a lot faster. So I'll just see you back here in a moment, okay? Okay, so after a short little wait there, it finally finished. Uh, I just kept on hitting refresh until I saw it deleted. And so it's out of there. And so we'll get rid of our Cloud9 environment since we are done with it. So we'll type in cloud nine up at the top and we'll go ahead and delete and we will go ahead and delete this here. Thank you. And we will go back to our AWS Amazon.console here just so we can get our bearings straight here. And there we go.